relativity of simultaneity. Clock desynchronization implies a still stranger phenomenon. The relativity of simultaneity. Quote. Are two events, for example the two strokes of lightning A and B, which are simultaneous with reference to the railway embankment also simultaneous relatively to the train? We shall show directly that the answer must be in the negative. End quote. Albert Einstein, Relativity, the Special and the General Theory, 1916. Observers can even disagree on the order in which events take place. One observer might believe events A and B happened at the same time. Another can conclude A happened before B, and a third could consistently determine B happened before A. Moreover, all three are correct, from their own frames of reference. For example, consider two stars in our night sky, Betelgeuse, in the constellation Orion and Eta Carini in the constellation Carina. Both are supergiant stars near the end of their lives. When they die, they will explode as brilliant supernovae. For several days afterwards, they could appear as bright as the moon and be visible during the day, as was the case in the supernova of 1054. If by chance, Betelgeuse and Eta Carini go supernova at the same time from our point of view, then according to relativity, there are others who will conclude that Betelgeuse went supernova first, and still others who will conclude that Eta Carini went supernova first. This has nothing to do with the time it takes light to reach us. We assume scientists on Earth, and aliens on other worlds took all of that into account when they calculated when the stars went supernova. The disagreement stems from an effect of rotation in spacetime, as in case of clock desynchronization. It is clock desynchronization paired with the fact that different observers can have different relative speeds compared to a pair of clocks. A pair of clocks that appear synchronized from one point of view can from another point of view, appear desynchronized. Consider the case of a slow-moving docking pod about to dock with a station, while a rocket flies by. From the docking pod's point of view, or frame, the station is at rest while the rocket is flying by. The docking pod also sees two clocks on the station strike 9 am simultaneously. From the rocket ship's frame, it is at rest while the station and docking pod fly by in the opposite direction. In this frame, the station and pod are rotated in spacetime. Accordingly, the rocket ship sees the clocks as desynchronized, the clock on the right strikes 9 am before the clock on the left. If a rocket flies rightwards by a space station while two clocks on the station simultaneously strike 9 am, those on the rocket will not consider the strikes to be simultaneous. They will consider the clock on the right to strike 9 am before the clock on the left. Likewise for another rocket traveling in the opposite direction, it would see the clock on the left strike 9 am before the clock on the right. Hence we get three different, but nonetheless equally valid, interpretations on the order of the events. How can this be? Events in space-time The breakdown of a consensus comes down to the fact that space and time are not absolute. Asking what event happens first is like asking what seed comes first in an apple. The direction we choose to slice through the apple determines the order the seeds are encountered. Events are embedded in spacetime like seeds are embedded in apples. There is no absolute ordering to the seeds. The order you encounter them depends on the angle you choose to slice through the apple. In relativity, one's direction through spacetime determines this slicing angle. It explains why different observers, traveling at different speeds or directions through spacetime disagree on the order of events. What an observer takes to be their present time is equivalent to the 3D cross-section of one of these slices through 4D spacetime. Evidence of four-dimensional spacetime. Could reality be so strange? It seems so. Relativity of simultaneity is an inevitable consequence of special relativity. Without it, the ladder paradox can't be explained. 
Moreover, scientists have confirmed the existence of clock desynchronization and its associated relativity of simultaneity through the observation of the Signac effect. This effect is the basis of a technology civilization depends on. If you've ever flown on a commercial jet or used a product delivered by a commercial ship, you've taken advantage of technology based on relativity and effects that produce clock desynchronization. This technology is the ring laser gyroscope. Mechanical gyroscopes have long been used for navigation on aircraft, ships, and spacecraft. Modern gyroscopes based on lasers have no moving parts. They send two beams of light in opposite directions around a ring. Timing differences indicate angular motion of the vehicle. Aside from improved reliability, ring laser gyroscopes are extremely sensitive. They can detect rotation speeds as small as 0.00001 degrees per hour. To put this in context, a clock's hour hand rotates at 30 degrees per hour, 3 million times faster. Interchangeability of time and space. We've seen that time and space are made of the same stuff. Length contraction shows yardsticks can reach through and measure time. Clock desynchronization shows clocks can measure distance. In 1948 Richard Feynman took this idea and ran with it. He created what came to be known as Feynman diagrams, diagrams that detail physical interactions between particles. Feynman diagrams show that in every physical interaction, space and time are completely interchangeable. For instance, the following Feynman diagram shows the same physical interaction between an electron, E, and a photon, gamma. Depending on how we perceive this interaction rotated in spacetime, we can describe this same interaction very differently. This one interaction can variously be described as 1. The absorption of a photon by an electron. 2. The emission of a photon by an electron. 3. Electron, positron antimatter annihilation. 4. The emission of a photon by a positron. 5. The absorption of a photon by a positron. And 6. Electron, positron pair production. But in all cases, it is the same picture of the same interaction, just approached from different angles, seen to unfold in different ways. Messages from the future Accordingly, the physicists Ernst Stuckelberg and Richard Feynman independently suggested that antiparticles, particles of antimatter, are simply regular particles traveling backwards in time. For example, the positron, also called an anti-electron, can be considered an electron traveling backwards through time. The only difference between an electron and a positron is how it moves through spacetime, relative to us? If valid, this is an indication that the future is real. Antimatter is often considered an exotic material of science fiction. But antimatter was first discovered in 1932 by the physicist Carl David Anderson, earning him the 1936 Nobel Prize in Physics. Today antimatter is used as the basis of several technologies. Antimatter, in the form of positrons, is used in hospitals around the world to perform PET scans, the P in PET is short for positron. You don't have to go to a hospital or physics lab to find antimatter. There is a good chance that you can obtain antimatter from your local supermarket. Due to the radioactivity of bananas, caused by the unstable potassium-40 present in them, the average banana has roughly 1.2 million radioactive events per day. Of those, about 1 in 100,000 produces a positron. Therefore each banana emits about 12 positrons a day, or 1 every 2 hours. Conventionally, we say the banana emits a positron which strikes our hand. But Ernst Stuckelberg and Richard Feynman would say it is an equally valid description to say our hand emits an electron that travels backwards through time to the banana. 
Under the Feynman, Stuckelberg interpretation, the banana receives a message from the future in the form of an electron sent back in time. If you've ever wanted to own a time machine, you need only visit your local grocer. See our episode, Is Time Travel Possible?